Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Katie, and today I'm going to be going through the contents of the Cyber Monday blind bundle from the Funko Shop. Uh, I've already taken them all out of the box, so it's not going to be some big unboxing like you, like other people did, just because I was a little late getting this video up. Uh, so I'm just going to go through, tell you what I like, which ones I'm not holding on to, and if I think it was worth it. So uh, the first pop we have is Drax. So this is the comic version of Drax. Uh, this kind of goes along with the Gamora one that was released over the summer from the San Diego Comic Con. Didn't pick that one up, but I might have to, to go along with this guy. But he's pretty cool. So, again, Marvel fan, so this will probably be hanging out in the collection for a while at least. Uh, this next pop, I don't know much about Overwatch. I'm not a big gamer, uh, but this is Ash. I think that's how you say it. Um, again, don't know much about Overwatch, so I probably won't be hanging on to this one. But it's a cool pop. Uh, this next one I was really happy about. You know, I like my ad icons. Pillsbury Doughboy in the Santa suit. Holding a tray of cookies, if you can see that right there. Uh, I, I don't have the other ones. I've been trying to get them, but just haven't found them in decent shape. Uh, so I was really happy to grab this one. So, pretty cool addition. Um, another pop that I'm not going to hang on to is uh, the Rick and Morty pop. The Holograph Rick. Hologram Rick. Holograph Rick. It's a glow in the dark, uh, and it's actually I tested it out the other day. It's actually a pretty cool glow. So if you're interested in Rick and Morty, you're looking to you're looking for this one. I'll I'll put the link to the eBay link or the eBay listing in the description below. So if you're interested, check it out. This next one again, you know I like. This is not an ad icon. I thought it was an ad. It's not. Scooby Doo. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. I love dogs, so I love Scooby Doo. And he's got a Christmas hat on and wrapped up in Christmas lights. So he's pretty cool looking. So this is only the second Scooby-Doo I have. I have the uh, Purple Flocked Scooby from uh, Box Lunch. I grabbed that a couple months ago. So I was really happy to, to see that in the box. So I'm going to show off these two together. These next two together. So they are the Baseball Fury red and green face. You can see without the glare. Holy cow. Uh, so yeah, the red one. And then you got the green one. So I'm not a big, um, I've never seen this movie, uh, so I don't really know anything about it. And the uh, one from New York Comic Con that I pulled out of a mystery box uh, actually sold pretty quickly. So again, I'm gonna throw these up on eBay, see if I can get any hits out of them. And I'll put the link in the description below to these two. Uh, so yeah, I won't be holding on to those two, obviously. Uh, these next few are the ones I'm holding on to. So again, another ad icon, Icy Polar Bear. And it's interesting to me that it has just a regular Funko Shop sticker. It doesn't have the Christmas sticker like the other ones do. So it's very interesting. So I'm wondering if it's just going to hit the Funko Shop by itself someday. But, but I love this pop. I mean, he's got his little, his little cherry icy drink. So he's pretty cute. Again, ad icons. Uh, this next one, Disney Pop. So I was excited. Christmas Tink in her little Santa hat. And if I took her out of the box, I wanted to see the base. The base is kind of glittery. I don't know if you can see it here. Maybe a little. But it's got like a glittery base. Like her little fairy dust. So, a little tank. She'll probably come out of the box and sit on a shelf or something at Christmas. We'll see. Uh, this next one, super cute. Super cute. Excellent job, Funko. On Jingles. Oh, he's so cute. He's a spastic plastic guy. Um, he's actually, I really like him. I didn't know if I was going to hang on to him, but seeing it in person, he's pretty cute. And he actually has a hook on top, so you could use him as a Christmas ornament, which I think I might. I think I might. But, yeah, he's pretty cute. So, hang on to that one, too. Uh, next to last one. Gone through a lot really quick. But this last, next to last one. Hulkleberry Hound in the Santa hat. Again, you know I love dogs, so I'm hanging on to him. Just super cute. And I love Huckleberry Hound. So. Alright, this last one is the biggest pop in the box. The 10-inch Frankenberry ad icon pop. Now, I know I like ad icons, but this is just a little too big for me. I think the only ad icon I would buy in this size would be the Coca-Cola Bear, which I passed just because I don't have space for the 10-inch pops right now. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, it goes with the Count Chocolate that was released a little while ago on the Funko Shop. And they do have Booberry. 
So I wonder if they're gonna do a 10 inch blueberry. I'm sure they are, but. So again, this one will be going up on eBay along with the other ones that I won't be hanging on to. So the Baseball Fury, uh, the Rick and Morty one, and the Overwatch Pop, I won't be hanging on to those. Uh, overall, do I think it was worth it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I got some good pops that I like. I just don't know if it was worth the $200. It was quite the, quite the decision for me. And I did not buy it right away. I kind of held on to see if it would sell out. And when I didn't, I just decided to pull the trigger and just buy it just to see. Um, again, I don't know if it was worth it, but I did get some cool pops. I mean, I got a few cool ad icons, you know. Icy Polar Bear, Pillsbury Doughboy are pretty cool. And you know, got Huckleberry Hound, Drax, Tink, uh, Scooby. And then, you know, you got a cute little spastic plastic pop that you could use as a Christmas ornament. Which I actually think I might do. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, overall, I don't know. I'm still iffy on whether it was worth it or not. But, you know, it, it was decent. It was decent, I can say that. I can say it was decent. There wasn't anything that I was super, like, yes, this was totally 100% worth it. I've been looking at them for a week and I've been a little iffy on them. But, you know, it is what it is. You buy the bundle, not knowing what's in it, so you take a little risk. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. So, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, check out my other videos, uh, either in my channel or one will be popping up right up there towards the end of this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can either subscribe in the red subscribe button below or there will be one right there in the last little bit of the video. So again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.